Back in April, Brittany Lincecum hit one of the shots of 2015 at the ANA Inspiration at Rancho Mirage. She'd previously won this tournament in 2009 by sinking an eagle at the 72nd hole, and the big hitting American, nicknamed Bam Bam, needed a repeat performance to have any chance of winning the LPGA's first major of the season again. After hitting a towering five iron from 190 yards to within just 10 feet, Brittany rolled in the putt to force a sudden death playoff with her good friend Stacy Lewis. The 29-year-old won on the third extra hole to claim her second major title. To kind of get over that hurdle again and to have another win is uh, pretty fantastic. And then to obviously be a major and in a major that I've won before uh, was very exciting. It was nice to have my dad there, my fiance, and uh, we all got to jump in poppy spawn together, which is very exciting. So what makes this multiple major champion tick? We headed to her home in Florida to find out. Lincecum insists her success isn't just down to hitting thousands of balls each week and revealed she doesn't just head for the water to celebrate. Focusing on hooks and lines of a different kind keeps her fresh and motivated for life on tour. I think every athlete needs kind of an out of, you know, especially the younger generation coming up. They're so focused and determined on practicing and um, I think just, you know, any little thing that kind of gets them distracted a little bit um, is a good thing, especially for me, you know, uh, when I come home, I hate practicing. I'd, I'd rather go fishing and um, it seems to help my game the more that I fish, you know, so why not keep doing it more? The name of her boat backs up that view. Fishing is a great passion and a hugely important escape route for Brittany, but she still invited Golfing World to join her, fiancé Devald, and angling companion Brett to spend a soothing summer's morning out on the beautifully blue waters of Tampa as she looked to land another big trophy or two. Just to be out on the water, um, you know, sky's the limit when we get out there. There's no telling what you're going to catch. There's no telling what you're going to see. Oh, they just slap tails. <laughs> I have never in a million years seen that. Literally feel like I could just put my hand in the water and touch them right now, they're so close. So I think they know the camera's here. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. Good start to the day, it means it's gonna be a good day. Fishing is a Lincecum family tradition. Her love for it began as a child during days out on the water with her mother and brother. When the chance came to design her own boat, Brittany took to the task very seriously. The name Taking Relief came courtesy of a Twitter follower, but the rest is all her. When it came time to upgrade the boat, I said, you know, I'm going to go make something that's mine. I want to go specifically pick out everything on it and, and really make it, you know, me and, and what I like. The whole process, I got to go down and, and see them build the mold of it. I saw, you know, where they were putting the, the rod holders and the cup holders and all the lights and everything. So I got to pick out everything on it. So um, it's definitely a piece of me. Brittany will marry Devold, or D for short, this December. The South African has become an enthusiastic fisherman himself, and the pair also share a golfing background. They met at the World Long Driving Championships three years ago, an event at which Dee finished runner-up in 2008. I always call it golf, uh, like an adrenaline sport when it comes to golf, uh, extreme sport, just because we've got like two minutes, 45 seconds to hit six balls per round. and. Um, Give me two minutes, 45 seconds seems like a long time, but when you need to focus and hit six golf balls into a 50, 60 yard grid and um, try and do your thing, it, it goes by real fast, you know. My longest drive in competition, I've never measured the drive out of competition, but in competition was uh, 427 meters in South Africa, or 425 meters in South Africa, and I think that goes to about 465 yards. We're looking for redfish. The tide is starting to come up and uh, they're normally hiding up in the grass here, so we're just trying to find them so we're not just casting into random places and uh, see if we can get a bite. I think that's one of the, th the great things about it. It's kind of like golf, you know, it's, each day is totally different and same with fishing. One day you might catch, you know, a 300 pound fish, the next day you might catch nothing. It's kind of the thrill of going out there and, you know, I can sit out there for eight hours at a time and not catch anything and still be perfectly happy just to be on the water and, hey, how's it going? and kind of just taking in the scenery and uh, just collecting my thoughts out there, you know, no cell phones and um, just being out there with the water. It's pretty awesome. Yay! There you go. That's a big boy. Yeah? 
kissing. <laughs> I think yours is big as anybody reckons. I think so too. With the perfect secret spot discovered, they started reeling in some sizable fish at an impressive rate. Got it? You got it? As Brittany said, for her, successful fishing means successful golf. It. And that's just what she needs for another few months at least. She's currently in 13th place on the Rolex <gasps> rankings. Good enough for a place on the American team at next year's Olympics in Rio. To even just compete would be, you know, a dream come true, let alone, you know, possibly even winning a medal. Um, you know, we've had Solheim Cup, it's been our Olympics for so long to now have both. It just shows how far women's golf has come and um, how great it is to now uh, be in the Olympics and be recognized as a sport because uh, golf is, is an awesome sport and it's very hard to play and um, it, it's going to be pretty cool, you know, if I can make that team. It's definitely a goal of mine to make that team, so, to you know, to win a medal, um, I mean, that would, that would kind of be the icing on, I think, my career. I think I could retire after that. <laughs> But before the Olympics, the Americans have another big team event looming, one that requires urgent attention. Later this month, Germany will host the Solheim Cup. And after losing the last two tournaments, Brittany and the rest of Team USA are fired up to win the trophy for the first time since 2009. To be on any Solheim Cup team is pretty amazing, and then to be playing for Julie Inkster is uh, is another a pretty amazing accomplishment. Um, you know, she was my idol growing up. She was somebody that I looked up to, and um, she took me under her wing my rookie year, and uh, always told me if I ever need anything, she would help me. And um, ever since then, you know, 11 years now, she's she's always there. I can always ask her anything, and um, to now be playing for her and representing our country, I mean, it's like. It's kind of surreal. We've all grown up playing together. We've all been friends for a very, very long time. It's funny looking at, you know, junior Solheim Cup pictures or junior golf pictures and uh, kind of seeing where we've all come and where we started and now where we are. And, you know, everyone's getting married now, probably going to start having kids soon. And um, it, it's just been an incredible journey. You know, golf has taken us to so many wonderful places and to still have those friendships, um, you know, we'll have those friendships for the rest of our lives. It's pretty awesome.